Okay, a lot of people have been asking me about the Bayfield 25, so I really want to introduce you to it. It's a 25-foot boat. They used to say 23, 25, but we call it 25. So here she is. She's sitting on the dock. It has the bow split, which is almost two feet, which makes it a 25-footer. It's a full keel boat. So I'll show you that to a little bit later. And we have, you know, like the hatch, lots of woodwork. And then basically that's it for the outside. And we'll get inside and we'll show you around the cockpit. So I'm inside the cockpit, of course. And we have two lockers on both sides. That's a, like a, that's a nice, very deep locker. This is a, another locker, but it's more for access to the gears and for the wheel. And look at this, a grill man. Actually a barbecue, cut it down, made it small, smaller, built a bag out of it. And then there's, there's the pedestal. Very, very nice. Got a cockpit table here. And then, so of course a wheel helm. So we have the throttle here, transmission on this side. This is a fish finder depth. And we have the Simrad chart plotter. Everything's really set good to go here. Over here is our, is our engine controls. So tachometer, shut off, it's a diesel engine. I'll show you that a little bit later. And uh, basically our, our idiot lights, right? Right here is the um, bilge pump, the manual bilge pump. The bilge starts in there, very, very deep bilge. And it goes right to the back. And this is the manual. I also have electric. We have AC power in this now. And uh, that's really about it for the cockpit. Uh, there are uh, two things I want to show you. There's two ways to get into this engine. Right here on the sole of the cockpit, we can open that up and we can get right into the back of the engine. And if you get into the back, here we have the back of the engine, we've got the wa um, muffler, water muffler, and then we can get to the uh, drive shaft there, to the propeller shaft. So that's such good access to this engine. But we also have one in, in the front, which I'll show you in a bit. Good. Uh, actually, almost new, new uh, sails. Both sails are almost new. Crisp as can be. So but we won't take those off today. And All right, so we have a few winches on this boat. So this is for, this is for the Genoa. We have a furling Genoa. And the only problem with this winch, it's, I would like a self-tailing winch, but uh, it's okay for now. And then up here, we have winches, of course. This is for the halyard. This is for the topping lift. And uh, they're okay for this size. This is the halyard here, our stays. And then we have the front uh, um, hatch. And here's our locker. This is the, um, the anchor locker. And then in there, we just have the anchor, a Danforth. And we have our anchor, that's our anchor uh, day signal, which is called an anchor ball. And I just string it between these two spots. If I'm at anchor somewhere, it's a nice boat, very nice boat. There we go, she's down. And now it's time for the inside. No, not yet. I want to show you something on the uh, cockpit yet. Okay, back to the cockpit. It's actually kind of a windy day, but when we want to sail, I mean, be outside, we can't sail with this, but this bimini opens right up and completely covers this cockpit, which is really, really nice on a sunny day sitting at the dock. The only thing I have to do is take the boom. I have to disconnect it from the traveler. The back traveler is behind. It's really nice, easy having this traveler right here. And then I just got to swing it to the outside. It's starting to rain, so I am. Um, I've decided to take out the bimini. I've moved the the boom over, disconnected it from the from the thingajiggy. The thingajiggy is some type what you use when you can't remember what it is. The the uh, back tra traveler there, and then so we put this. It works perfect. We just put a clip here. We clip it on. And now she's, she's good to go and it protects us from the rain 
and uh, we can keep the uh, hatch closed but be out here keep the doors off and we have no rain inside actually we got blue cushions for this for this um uh, for the cockpit here cockpit cushions but it's raining so we're going to leave them inside okay i said i wasn't going to take the cushions out but they're too pretty i have to show you them wonderful okay let's go inside three-door hatch and i also have screens for this anyway let's go inside and i'm going to show you all around that okay so now we are on the inside and you know we have storage here and uh, this is the radio that we uh music and and uh for the movies here's the uh vhf radio here i have the, the electric bilge pump and the usb port and all my electrics lots of storage in here and this is where the main uh, power and switches are and look at here let's take these beautiful cushions off and this comes up and then it bolts into there i have a chair so i can sit on here and do the stuff and over six feet to sleep on i want to show you the other side there's the other side we have the same stuff we have storage it's in the pantry and then some storage there is the stove it's a it's an alcohol stove two burner alcohol stove beautiful works beautiful a deep fridge the fridge is full of goodies look at that where's the food and the sink and here we have this is how this is to pump the water from the sink we have a full tank underneath there a big storage tank there's storage under each bunk here we have the AC power I want to show you this you should don't think this is six feet this is over six feet and and you and you sleep in here like a baby so here I go okay. apparently the feet are supposed to go in first not the head <laughs> but there's lots there's lots of room that's up there nice and safe I'm six feet this is more than six feet it is oh it's got to be two and a half feet wide at least right very comfortable so we have a place to sleep here a place to sleep here and then we have a v-birth that's good for two So I want to show you the engine yet. As I told you, it's this is the, the primary um, uh, access to the engine. It might be a little dirty because I haven't cleaned it for uh, I think two months. Anyway, so you open up, open up the key, you give it a pull, give it a pull, and you swing it out, and then we place it over here, and then we have total access to the engine. I'm going to open up the cockpit one here. So you have a little more light in there. And so we have all our fuel lines. This is a fuel line to in and out and return. And then the fuel filler. Then we have, this is our water intake to the engine, which goes to the strainer, or access to the oil. This is a 1GM10 Yanmar. It's supposed to give about eight horsepower at 2300 RPM. It pushes this boat in normal conditions at about four knots. Actually, it does a pretty good job. Anyways, that's that's the engine compartment. It's you know it's a lot of space here. Look at these port lights, these port windows here. All metal, all glass. Bayfield did an excellent job when they when they built these little bayfields. Cross ventilation, beautiful teak, teak everywhere. It is a really nice quality built boat. This boat is a 1986 and look the condition it's in. All, all liner. Guess what this is? It's not a pretty picture. It's the, it's the table. <laughs> Watch. So we can have half a table. Just bring down the leg to here. We have half a table. Just a, I don't know, do whatever you want. Or if you want four people in here, we, we bring up the other leg. We bring up the other leg and then four people can sit here and have dinner. Lots of room, lots this of room. The front. 
this doesn't really have its own washroom per se, but the V-berth here does have a door. And when you, when you close the door, you have privacy for the V-berth or for the toilet here. If you see this, this swings, you know, peek -a -boo. And then you swings there and it latches. But this is the, the head. And I built this just because I didn't like the head just exposed itself. And it gives us um, more storage. And of course, here is our little hanging locker. It's got the life jackets in it. And then this stays, this basically stays on here. So when you're sleeping here, you can put stuff here. There used to be a little sink here. Now I just have it for storage. It's like shelves for closets and stuff like that. There's no reason for a little vanity here on the bathroom when like two steps you've got that sink. So now it's just closet, storage, toilet, a head, and a V-berth, which is also six feet. Really? I just want to show you the V-berth. It, you know, I am six feet, like I said. There's lots of room. And of course, head this way, I guess, depending on who's sleep, sleeping here. But there's lots of room. Lots of room in this V-berth. We've got lights here. This is a, this is the anchor lock in front. Look at all these teak slats. Very, very, very good condition. And overhead we have the hatch. And if I move my head up there, look at that. Beautiful. I think I'll sleep here tonight. What do you think? Well, basically, that is the Bayfield 25. Excellent, bay, excellent boat. And this can be yours for the right price. What do you think? I think I'm keeping it for a couple more years yet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you enjoyed the Bayfield 25.